I didn't want to shoot a woman, you know. But I was given the order to shoot. This is my life. This is my past, this is my present, and this is my future. And I keep it. You know, to remind me. But it's always it's always there. Don't, you know, I just order me to shoot down innocent people, that's not an order. That's that's craziness to me, you know? And so I don't feel like I have to obey that. It just seemed like a horrible thing. I'm telling you, we all came from the same place. They all had to have the same values that I had somewhere along the line. Uh, if, it's, if they didn't get it in school, they had to get it in religion, uh, church, or some place, you know, just simple. But then to go and do something like this, it's, it's immoral to me. And did you revenge your father? Was it difficult for you to accept these views? Does that mean if you had a commander who actually did not impose rules on you, you would go and kill him? Once I was in Kandar in 2002, and during a session with the Afghan army officer, he was almost crying. He said that, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know till now that there exists some rules. He said, I was a Mujahid. I was coming from the border or fighting the, against the Russians or the Afghan authority that time. And I was told that whatever you do, you are allowed. So I didn't really care that time about the civilian casualties or the property of the civilian or other things. And now I hear that there exists some rule that whom you should fight, how you should fight, and what, uh, this thing, these are the rules. So he just said, may Allah forgive me for my past, but I will never do it in my future life. 